Why, hello there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a fun tier list. I just wanted to do something a little bit silly today. So we're gonna be ranking all 36 Festival of the Lost Masks across the last four years from Festival of the Lost 2018 to Festival of the Lost 2021. Uh, there are 36 masks, I believe, and we're gonna be ranking them in five tiers. We have Scream of the Crop, Scary Good, What a Treat, Smell Mafit, or Meh Feet, and boo. So those are the five punny tiers I've come up with. And uh, we're gonna be ranking these. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of go in order. I imported them in a random order. Um, doesn't really matter. So we'll just go in order. Uh, Tanix, I think this mask is really cool. I really like, uh, there's two or three boss masks in here. And I really like the boss masks that they, they're really well done. They're really easy to make themed armor around. I uh, made a pretty cool Hunter Annex build. I think it looks really awesome. Uh, continuing on, we have the penguins from Europa. What a very, very strange thing to make a mask on. I'm not really a fan. Uh, so I'm just gonna put that in the, in the bottom. Uh, next we have the travelers. I'm gonna just put all three of the travelers at the same level. I don't know why you would wear a traveler mask. It's, it's very, like, I, I don't really think anyone's gonna go, I wanna cosplay as the Traveler. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just weird. Uh, all three of the masks are just kind of middling for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them there. A uh, Spider, I actually think is uh, really, really, really good. I think this mask is really well done, and it has a really cool pun in it as well. Uh, if you look at the back of the mask, you can see spider legs. So not only is it after spider, the character, but it also has eight legs like an actual spider does. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and put both the Acolyte and the uh, the Goblin at Scary Good. I really like these ones that, uh, once again, you can make really cool armor sets around. Uh, they both look pretty fantastic. And uh, well, the teeth on the Acolyte are kind of kind of weird, but <laughs> go ahead and put those there. Um, next, we have Omnigal. I'm going to put that at the very top of Scary Good, I think. Uh, once again, you can make some really cool outfits with it. I really like the glow. Looks very, very, very good. Uh, next, we have the Drifter. Most of these NPC ones, I'm going to be honest, I do not like. All of the ones that are supposed to look like human faces, uh, I feel like... A lot of them are done really, really poorly. And maybe that's kind of like, they're maybe they're supposed to be like campy or something. I don't know. Uh, but like their proportions seem really off in the Drifter one. Uh, the Mithrax one is done a little bit better. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in what a treat in the, in the middle tier. Uh, maybe some people are able to make a really cool build with that. Uh, it's, it's all right. The Anna Bray mask is the worst mask. Uh, it is terrifying. Uh, so I'm going to leave that there. Uh, the Zol one is cool, but like, eh, I don't know. It's it's very interesting. Um, just kind of poking out of your face. Uh, I think the Ada one's actually really well done. I know a lot of people are uh, Ada stands. So I think it might have been a mistake for Bungie to put this in the game, but I've seen some very, very clever designs using Ada and female hunters and, and making them look really, really good. So uh, um, yeah, I think Ada definitely deserves at least a scary good. Uh, Misrax is uh, bottom, middle, I don't know. I, I think the, it, it just doesn't, I'm gonna put them actually top of smell mefeet. Uh, it's all right. It's really squished. Eh, I don't know. Uh, the Aldrin one, pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm sure, actually, I'm gonna put this up up at the top of the middle one, uh, kind of in between these two tiers, I guess. Um, I'm sure you can make some pretty cool Hunter. Actually, no, it's a meme. It's a meme. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put it up top because I'm sure there's some really good stuff and I, I really appreciate the more meme -y aspects of this. Uh, next, we have Spider's Associate. Uh, who cares? I don't know. I don't think the mask looks too great. I'm going to put it down there. Uh, Scorn. Yeah, I'll put Scorn up here with the Acolyte because uh, I'm sure there's some really good builds with that. Probably with Titans, I would say. I don't know. Uh, so put that up there. I think the Cauldron is top tier. It's weird because it's like, why would you want to be a Cauldron? But I've seen some excellent, excellent, excellent... Uh, 
costumes utilizing that with a black and green color scheme. I think the green's really vibrant. We actually don't get a lot of green in Destiny, uh, at least not like that, not neon green. So I think it's actually a really interesting one. Um, I don't know why I like it as much as I do, because if, if you use my same logic as like the Traveler ones, I shouldn't, but I just, it's actually just kind of funny. I don't know. It, it doesn't really belong in Destiny. I don't know why it's there, but it works. I don't know. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna put that one there. Oh, the chicken one, of course, the greatest one, the greatest one of all time. It's my cat's favorite uh, mask. It's my favorite mask. It's my wife's favorite mask. It's just the best mask. Okay, okay. Um, you have the Jade Rabbit one. Uh, pretty cool. I'm sure. Maybe. Yeah, maybe like right there, somewhere in there, right? one, one of these two spots. Um, I really like when they expand kind of the mythos behind Destiny. The Jade Rabbit's kind of this mysterious figure that we are figuring more and more about, I guess, or or it's being seeded more and more into the universe. And I, I really do like that mask. I think it's, it's quite interesting. Pyramid Head is definitely one of my favorites. Um, it is a really cool way of, of you know, presenting this enemy who's like looming on the horizon uh you can look like pyramid head in from like uh silent hill uh very cool mask i think it's very good a uh, glittery ghost guy i'm just gonna put this on the same tier as the the travelers but at least has an eyeball so that's cool uh gall uh once again one of these boss tier ones that are really good um probably right there I've seen a lot of cool Titan builds using Gaul. So yeah, probably there. Uh, Sweeper bot, uh, top tier. It's so a meme in the community, which I always love, Sweeper bot. I, I love this reoccurring theme. There's an emote where you can make it look really good. I've seen a couple of hunters with really good Sweeper bot builds and, uh, or well, you know, like outfits are, are looking really good, like Sweeper bot. One thing I really like is when they, Bungie doesn't take things too seriously. So there's kind of two versions of this. So. Anna Bray was obviously not taken very seriously and that's terrifying, but this one, it's more of like a campy fun way where it has like toilet paper tubes as the ears. Uh, it's got uh, pencils as the antennas. I think it's really clever, really cool little attention to detail. Um, and so I, I actually do like that a lot. Plus it, it I think it looks pretty good. Uh, Rahul, just kind of middle, um, nothing crazy, nothing too bad. Shax, uh, I've seen a lot of really good Shax builds. I'll probably put him here. Um, really like the Shaxx helmet. The Shaxx helmet has its own mythos. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the Callus one kind of terrifying, but I will put the other Callus one kind of higher. Uh, I think this one looks really good. This one just kind of looks like a testicle and it makes me feel weird. Uh, Aramis, eh, meh. I'll put it here at the same time uh, as Mithrax. Um, Aris Morn, terrifying, absolutely terrifying. Uh, nope. Uh, this is one I don't understand why it exists. The shaded Titan helm. I feel like they just needed an extra helmet. Why just Titan? Why not Warlock and Hunter 2? I don't really understand why it exists. So, uh, I mean, it's all right. It's a, it's well done. But like, why though? You know, like, I, I don't really understand why it's there. So I'll put it right here, I guess. I, I, I don't know. Just kind of as middle as you can get. Honk Moon, this is easily a top tier one. Uh, Bungie directly references a uh, community meme. So this was actually made, uh, I don't know who made the picture, but Spoderman100 actually made the Honk Moon kind of meme 3D render that we've seen. And um, Bungie directly, directly references that with this mask. And I, I love community involvement in memes and stuff like that. So I think that's really cool. Uh, Petra is middling. Uh, Exo Stranger is middling. Those are both fine. I'm sure there there are people that make really good use of them. And the pumpkin is very high up for me. Um, probably right there. I think the Jack O' Lantern mask looks absolutely fantastic. It's definitely scream of the crop. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, the only ones maybe. Like some of these NPC ones, I could drop them down a tier and I'd be fine with that. But mostly like this middle tier for me is like, yeah, these masks look all right, but like, why do they exist though? Um, I might actually put this callous one here or like even 
even there. Some people probably like Sweatsicle probably really likes that one. I think it just looks really weird. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it there. But let me know what you guys agree and disagree with on this list. I think uh, especially the Scream of the Crop, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Um, the first two tiers are just, I think all of these masks can be used in a really, really fun way. So yeah, let me know what your list is down in the comment section below. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was kind of fun. Maybe we'll start doing more stuff like this. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in watching either of the two videos on screen, you can click it. Their respective annotations to be taken to them. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure the giant version of my logo on screen. Be subscribed to more awesome Destiny videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you in my next video.